Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Brown from the Attabarro Public Library. Today I'm here to do another 15 minute kitchen science experiment with you. When we do science experiments, we have to talk about safety. You know I talk about it every single time, but I think it's important and it's bears worth repeating. So I have my lab coat on to protect my clothes and I have my safety glasses on to protect your eyes. We always need to be safe when we're doing science experiments. Today's science experiment is about Sharpies and solubility. What is solubility and why, what does it have to do with Sharpies? Well, let's do the experiment and then we'll talk about it. If you would like to pick up a free bag of materials for this experiment, you can do so by calling me at 508-222-7820 or you can email me at attaborokids at salesinc.org. I will give you a free bag of materials but everything in the bag are things you may have around the house, so you might not even need the materials. In the bag, you'll find the instruction sheet, and the instruction sheets can always be found on our website as well. You'll also find four ounces of vinegar, four ounces of rubbing alcohol. You'll find three cups, three Sharpies, and three coffee filters. From your home, you're going to have to supply a half cup of water. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark all of these coffee filters with the Sharpies. Now, the reason I gave you the Sharpies is because this experiment will not work with washable markers, so I wanted to make sure you had some permanent markers in order to do this experiment. All you're going to do is you're going to mark the Sharpies with, uh, going to mark the coffee filters with three circles using the Sharpies. If you have other permanent markers at home and you wanna use those, that's fine. But I just wanted to make sure that you had permanent markers for this experiment. Just make some circles on your coffee filters. Once you've finished that, then we can move on to the next step. You have three cups. You're going to mark one with a V for vinegar, one with an R for rubbing alcohol, and one with a W for water. And it doesn't matter which cup is which, you just have to keep all three of them apart. <clears throat> and then you pour your liquids in. We pour our, with, our water into the cup with the W. We pour our rubbing alcohol into the cup with the R. And we pour our vinegar into the cup with the V. After that, take each of your coffee filters and fold them twice. So you come up with this little triangle, okay? You're gonna put it in each of the liquids, just put it in there, so that the Sharpies, make sure that the Sharpie marks are under the, under the liquid. And then we wait. Some of science is just waiting and waiting to see what happens. So here we go. We're going to wait about 10, 15 minutes and then we'll see what happens. Here we go. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Before we check on our experiment, let's talk a little bit about solubility. What is solubility? What does that mean? Solubility is the ability of a solute to dissolve in a solvent. A solute can be a solid, a liquid, a gas, and a solvent is almost always a liquid. In this case, our solute is the ink from the Sharpie markers, and our solvent are water, vinegar, and rubbing alcohol. So, 
let's see what happens when we put our solute in the different solvents. The first one is the water. Now, you can see on the coffee filter, the solvent didn't do anything to our Sharpie ink. Sharpie ink is actually hydrophobic, which means it's water fearing. You can't dissolve Sharpie ink with just water, which is why we can't use water to clean up permanent marker. Let's see what happened with the vinegar. No, the Sharpies are still there as well. So although sometimes you can use vinegar to get things clean, vinegar will not dissolve Sharpie ink. So in this case, vinegar isn't a good solvent for the Sharpie ink. Now, how about the rubbing alcohol? Well, the rubbing alcohol is doing a much better job. It's only been in there 10 minutes and already the Sharpie is fading fast. And look, the color is going into the liquid. Sharpie ink, the solute, can be dissolved with rubbing alcohol or solvent. So permanent markers, if you get them on something, a good, good thing to try to clean it up is rubbing alcohol. If I left this overnight, all of the ink would be gone. Maybe we'd see some at the edge of the coffee filter and my water would just get darker and darker in color. So now you know, solute, that is something that you're trying to dissolve. Solvent, that's something that you are using to dissolve it. Sharpies and solubility. Sharpies are permanent markers. They can be dissolved only with rubbing alcohol, but not with vinegar or water. This is a great experiment for you to try with different materials. You could try it with your washable markers. You could try it with crayons. You could try it with pen and pencil. See what kind of sol solubility all of those solutes have and what solvent you can use to dissolve them. Thank you everyone for joining me. I hope you had a fun time. Again, if you wanna pick up a free packet of materials, you can call me at 508-222-7820 or email me at attaborokids at salesinc.org. I will see you next week for another 15 minute kitchen science experiment. Bye-bye.